Hey, so welcome to my channel, Unfolding the Basics with Sahil. Uh, thanks for showing all the love and support to my first video wherein we unboxed uh, the Apple iPhone 12 mini. Uh, so I thought, let's do another one. So for all of you who have watched my first video, you guys know that I am a big fan of Apple iPhones. I have owned uh, the 5 series, the 6, the 7, uh, the 10. I currently use the 11 Pro and we obviously bought the 12 mini for my wife. So I'm a big fan of Apple iPhones. So today is going to be unboxing of, no surprises, another Apple product, but a bit of a twist. So drum roll. Today we are going to do unboxing, like I said, of another Apple product, but it is a different product line. We are going to unbox the Apple MacBook Air with M1 chip. I am super excited about this because guys, I have owned a lot of iPhones, but I have never owned an Apple laptop. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead with it. Last month, Apple launched three new products, the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini. And the biggest news is that all these products have Apple's brand new silicon the M1 chip. Now this is a huge news in the tech industry for two reasons. First, Apple is now moving away from using Intel chips in their Macs. And the second, this new M1 chip is first chip designed specifically for the Mac. So we can expect better integration between the hardware and software, giving us an optimal performance. With this M1 chip, Apple has claimed huge performance gains over the previous MacBook Air, which used the Intel chip. In Apple's words, this isn't just an upgrade, this is a breakthrough. Let me tell you guys an interesting story. Uh, so a friend of mine, he actually bought the MacBook Air with the Intel chip last month, and he actually bought it as a surprise gift for his wife's birthday. And to his surprise, in fact, a couple of days after he bought the laptop, Apple announced this upgraded one with the M1 chip. Luckily, he had a couple of days with him before the birthday, so he went into the Apple store and obviously exchanged it with the new laptop, which actually had the M1 chip. And it's been a couple of weeks that these guys have been using that laptop. They're pretty happy with the performance, but more than all, they are pretty happy that they had the chance to actually exchange it before the birthday and they absolutely don't regret their purchase. So before we start the unboxing, let me quickly tell you about some of the specs. Now this is Apple's tennis laptop and this is Apple's highest selling laptop as well, the MacBook Air. Uh, this one has 13 inch screen and it is available in three colors, silver, space gray and the gold. The RAM starts from 8 GB, goes up to 16 gigs and the storage that starts from 256 gigs and it can go up to two terabytes. Now this particular one is the base version because I am going to use it only for my personal use. I don't really need a heavy hitting laptop because it's going to be a regular use with a very light video editing, hopefully. So this is what I chose. Let's see where it says that. Yeah, here it is. It says 13 inch MacBook Air with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And this particular one is in silver color. Okay, let's open up the wraps here. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's take this out. Okay, let's talk about the contents of the box before we move ahead. Okay, let's start with the paperwork. Uh, designed by Apple in California. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, so the MacBook Air guide, uh, the warranty information, and obviously the stickers. Now these stickers are color coded or the color matched with the color of the laptop. The one with gold color, the stickers are gold, and the one which is space gray, the color of the stickers is gray. So yeah, so we have this, let's keep this aside. And then we have the charging cable here, which is USB-C to USB-C. That's expected, perfect. 
and we do have a charging brick in here. Uh, now this charging brick that we get with the MacBook Air is a 30 watt charger. The one that you get with the MacBook Pro, it is 61 I believe. So that'll charge it a bit more fast. So that's about it. Let's keep this aside. And let's come to the laptop. Let's take this wrapper off. Does anyone else find the unwrapping satisfying? I do. Okay, there you go. The Apple MacBook Air with M1 chip. Now, looks from the outside, it's exactly the same as earlier version of MacBook Air with Intel chip. It would have been interesting if Apple differentiated this packaging for the M1 chip a bit different, maybe the design of the package or maybe the design of the laptop itself, but it's not. It's the same as the one which comes with Intel chip. But yeah, so here we are. Like I said, the design is the same. Uh, here we go. We do have the two USB 4 or what you call is the Thunderbolt 3 ports. And we do have a 3.5 mm headphone jack as well. Okay, let's open it up and I'm actually excited to hear the the MacBook chime. Let's see if it's still there. There you go. And yep, we still have the MacBook chime. Exciting. Okay, let's take this paper off. Perfect. So I did finish setting up this laptop and like all other Apple products, super easy. I did want to finish this video with one important thing, which is the price. Now, what Apple did is that when they upgraded the MacBook Air from the Intel chip to the M1 chip, which this particular laptop has, it did give Apple a huge bump in the performance and also a huge gain in the battery life as well. But a great thing what Apple did is they kept the pricing exactly the same for this laptop with the M1 chip as they had for the one with the Intel chip. So that's a great, great thing there. Uh, this particular laptop, which is the base model with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage space, this one is priced at $1299 Canadian. Now, in my experience, the Apple products, they do seem pricey to start with, but they do justify the price tag over a long period of time with a consistent performance. So I'm hoping that even this investment would be well worth. Thank you for watching. See you later.